Hello everybody and welcome back to my Let's Play of Pokemon Black. In the last episode we just got the journey started. We picked out our starter and we have a little little pup now named Iggy. So let me see. Oops. There we go. <laughs> yep, so we have a little Kai here, a little Oshawa, and then we have a little Iggy right here. Um maybe I should battle with Iggy a little bit. Let's see what we can do. Let's see. I think he just knows tackle. You know, a little bit of levels or a little bit of XP. See Iggy battle. I hate it when Lear is like the first option. I just want to be like, alright, just stand with me. I probably would have pulled it out because um two leers that would have knocked me out. <laughs> See, look at that. So we're taking care of Eggy. Alright, let's go continue the story now. <laughs> Alright, hey Charon. What's up? How about it, Phoenix? Do you want to compare which one of us has the most Pokemon? Seems like the number of Pokemon Phoenix has is two. We all had the same number then. Ins if you check your Pokedex, you'll see how many Pokemon you find and how many you've got. I'm off to Accumulatown. The professor's waiting. Oh shit. My phone ringing. Or who is it? Oh, it's, <laughs> it's the professor. We're like right outside of town. Hello, how's everyone doing? You and your Pokemon are getting along great now, right? Oh, Professor! Right now I'm in front of the Akuma Town Pokemon Center. I'll just show you around, so hurry on over, everyone. Okay, the Pokemon Center, All right. Okay, see you. Perfect. Well, I'm gonna go ahead. Alright, let's we, uh, we'll, we'll Kai get some healing. Ah, Phoenix, there you are. Traveling with your Pokemon is truly one of the joys of being a trainer. Please follow me. I'd like to show you the most important place for a trainer to know. It's the Pokemon Center. This music fucking slaps in here. Oh, wait. I guess it doesn't go yet. This is the Pokemon Center. Don't you feel better as soon as you step through the door? Alright, let's take you on your door. Oh, hi, Bianca. Wait for me. The Pokemon Center is truly an incredible place. Do you know why? Because your Pokemon can be healed. And what's more, it's absolutely free. A Pokemon Center is a trainer's best friend. Here, Phoenix, give it a try. Hell yes. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. There it is. There's the music. I fucking love the Pokemon Center music. We restore your tired Pokemon to full health. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Absolutely. Kai's a little tired right now. Thank you for waiting. We restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. Okay, now that you your Pokemon are rested, I'll show you how to use the PC at the Pokemon Center. This is the PC. It is free for any trainer to use. You can store Pokemon in your PC boxes, select Pokemon stored in your PC boxes to take along with you. In addition, you can catch new Pokemon while if you catch a new Pokemon while you have six traveling with you, the Pokemon will just just caught is automatically sent to the PC network. Surprising, isn't it? Amazing. Even there's something else that's cool. If you select my PC, it evaluates the progress you made on your Pokedex. Professor, it says someone's PC on the screen. Who is someone? Very good, Bianca. That is very good observation. Good question. I'd like to say more, but for now, let's just ignore that and go ahead and use the PC. Someone is the person who made the Pokemon storage system. Someone I'm sure you'll meet someday. Okay, let's get moving. I forgot who it is. I haven't played this in a while. <laughs> now, this is the Pokemart. This is the place to buy useful items and sell ones that you don't need anymore. That gentleman over there will help you with a smile. So, let's wrap this up. I'll give you your basics of being a trainer. I'm going to head to... Nuvella Town. One final thing. When you get... 
When you get to Strayton City, go and meet an inventor named Fennel. She's a friend of mine from long ago, and I'm sure you'll, she'll help you on your way. Best of luck. I hope your journeys prove to be an adventure of a lifetime. Hell yeah. Nouvelle, nouvelle shit. I can't pronounce shit. Oh, what should I buy? Potions of Pokemon are definitely important. Hmm, I'm thinking. Why does it say A? I've never had that happen. Okay. Why the fuck is the key? <laughs> okay. I guess I'll be there. I don't know why that's going on now. Um, do I need to buy anything? Maybe, maybe like, a pulse. And why the fuck not? I'm just fighting two potions. Ah, shit, I did it again. My bad. Why is it showing my, my movements now? I kinda wanna pause. That was autumn now. Dude, we went through a whole season. Something sounds like something's going on in the plaza. Well, let's have a little look see. Hold on one second, I'm gonna fix this. What the fuck does this mean? Okay, I guess it's fine. Yeah, I have no idea why it's doing this, but it's okay. Yo, what up, Sharon? Phoenix, come over here for a second. Yo, what's going on? My name is Gensis. I'm here to represent Team Plasma. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to talk to you about Pokemon Liberation. I'm sure most of you believe that we humans and Pokemon are partners, and we have come to live together because we want and need each other. However, is this really the truth? Have we ever considered perhaps we humans only assume that this is the truth? Pokemon are subject to selfish commands of trainers. They get pushed around when they are our partners at work. Can anyone say with confidence that there is no truth to what I'm saying? Now, ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon are different than humans. They are living beings that contain unknown potential. They are living beings from whom we humans have much to learn. Tell me, what is our responsibility towards these wonderful beings called Pokemon? That's right, we must liberate Pokemon. Then, and only then, will humans and Pokemon truly be equals. Everyone, I end my words here today by imploring you to consider the relationship between people and Pokemon in the correct way to proceed. We sincerely appreciate your attention. Damn. Killer presidential speech. About that speech, what do you think we should do? Liberate Pokemon? That's not even possible. <laughs> your Pokemon. Just now it was saying. Slow down, you're talking too fast. And what's this about Pokemon talking? That's an odd thing to say. Yes, they're talking. Oh, then you two can't hear it either. How sad. My name is N. Man, he is just text me just so fast. My name is Charon and this is Phoenix. We we were asked to complete the Pokedex, so we just left for our journey. My main goal is to become champion though. The Pokedex, eh? So you're going to find many, many Pokemon and Pokeballs for that then. As a trainer I'm a trainer too, but I can't help wondering. Are Pokemon really happy that way? Well, Phoenix, is it? Let me hear your Pokemon's voice again. Dude, I have this song playing in my in my car, my on my playlist. I fucking love this music. Anyway, we got Trainer N here, and he's got just a purloin. I maybe I shouldn't have put Iggy on the front. 
just a little thought. Um, he has one Pokemon, so maybe I'll just spam Leer and then switch in Kai to just take it down. Like we're using actual strategies. Let's go. I don't know why it's showing my input now. I gotta look at that after recording. I don't think it was doing that this entire time, was it? No, oh, fuck it now. <laughs> I just work here. Alright, I'll switch in Kai now. Oh, I do need to drink the water. I haven't been drinking water very regularly, so... Oh, we can use water gun. Oh, but it's a fence, not a special defense. Here it goes, just tackle. I'll probably kill it in one, one second. What? What are you talking about? I put that thing on three! Oh, fine. Whatever. Stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Killed that cat. <laughs> Iggy's level 4 now. Good job, Iggy. Oh, he's level 5 now. Okay. Good job. I don't think that's useful. I never expected to hear Pokemon say such things. We got $700. Fuck yeah. Oh, Kai's almost level 8. That's good. As long as Pokemon are confined in Pokeballs, Pokemon will never become perfect beings. I have to change the world for Pokemon because they are my friends. Bye! Huh. Strange guy. But I'm not going to worry about it. Trainers and Pokemon help each other out. Listen, I'm gonna go on ahead. I want to battle the gym leader in the next town, Cerulean City. Aim to battle the gym leaders after gym leader. That's the best way for a trainer to become stronger is to challenge the gym leaders in each area. Yo, I got you, fam. Alright, so I want to show you something cool. I believe it's up in this house. And when you go up here, you can see that there's some items over there in the next route. What do you say? Beautiful scenery and relaxing sounds. Oh man, I sure love this place. Sure makes me feel happy. Um, there's a little place over here that plays instruments. And it adds to this music. Oh, they got a little Minchu in here. Choo-choo. Alright. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, so they basically just add music, to, like extra instruments to it. Like a little piano and the little drums. It's really cute. There isn't much in this town, it's just for kind of that speech and still tutorial, so... But this one... The next town we're heading to should have a bit more. I okay, so this is Route 2. I believe a cutscene happens, but let me just check something real quick. Alright, I was making just checking to see how long we're running for. Um, we'll go for a little... We're only at 14 minutes right now, so... Alright. We're getting a call! Oh, it's my mom! Phoenix! It's your mom! How are your things? Are you and your Pokemon getting along and enjoying your journey so far? I need to talk to you, so I called, but I'm going to hang up the transceiver now. Okay. Oh, she found me. Phoenix? I finally caught up to you, and look how far you've come already. Professor Juniper says you're probably heading to Saravian City by now. I have another present for you, Phoenix. Try these on. We got running shoes! I wonder how they work in this. When you're running with running shoes, you can go faster in a flash. Let me read the instructions. Hold the B button down to run faster than normal. Put on running shoes and tear through your heart's content. That's what it says. I bought these a long time ago and stashed them away somewhere. I found them when I was cleaning up. Good thing that's... I guess it's good to clean occasionally. 
Thanks, you understand that you're never really alone, right? You're with Pokemon. You have friends and you're always in my thoughts. That's alright, then. Enjoy your trip! I will. So... B. Okay. We're not gonna run through the grass, because that makes you more likely to get shit. Potion! If, if you run through grass or bike through grass, you'll have... It's more likely for Pokemon to jump out at you. I did not take Iggy out of the front. <laughs> the trainer catches another trainer's eye. So start a Pokemon battle. Yeah. Youngster Jimmy. Pet Rat. I know when I did a Nuzlocke of this game, I caught one of these and just named it Matt Pat. Because <laughs> it, it just seemed fitting. It's just replacing like two of the letters. Oh, I did not heal. <laughs> it's, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Let's tackle. Alright, um, Kai, <laughs> how are you doing? <laughs> there you go, buddy. It's sad that this banger-ass music only comes out when your Pokemon's dying, especially when you're doing a Nuzlocke. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I think those fire ready. Alright, let's use Water Gun. Let's see what that looks like. Nice, Kai! You got another critical hit! Level 8. Good job, boy! Oh, level 6 for Iggy. That's good. I probably need to run back and go heal real quick. <laughs> I forgot to heal after an end's fight. Let me do that. And that's another mechanic. If you, you can't go up this, but you can jump down it. Oh, let me fucking use the running shoes. At least we get to hear this fucking awesome music again. Now, I don't know in this ROM if this area has more functionality other than just healing and buying stuff. Also, there's the PC right there. I don't know if the Wi-Fi settings work, but I don't know. I'll, I'll fucking play around with that later on, but... But when this... If you did play on the DS, it, like before the DS, like, shut off all Wi-Fi. Um, you, you could be able to use the GTS and trade with friends and do local stuff and everything. So, but you can't do that anymore, unfortunately. Oh, I don't know, I ran through the grass. <laughs> oh, there's Porloin! Pretty, pretty cat. Alright, kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Alright, one more should do it. We'll challenge the next trainer. Perfect. Level 7 for Iggy, that's good. Alright, so... Does this youngster do anything? That's good, they only appear in progress. Now this is not a trainer. I really love Pokemon battles, because my cute Pokemon will do th their best in a really cute way. If you have a Lillipop, that's pretty cute, but like, pure, pure on not that cute. Blast, <laughs> Mally. Oh, she got a fucking Pearl on. Alright, let's see. Alright, yeah, we'll just use Leer. Assist, but it failed. Alright, 
Yeah, Scratch doesn't really do that much, which it sucks for Furloin if you do get one early on. But that's really the only move it really knows for a little bit, and Scratch doesn't really do that much. Alright, there you go. Iggy, good job. Level 8, nice. I gotta get Kai out here. Oh, we learned Bite! Good job, boy! Now we have a dark type move to use against like psychics. All right, and also ghosts, ghosts also. All right, let me put Kai in the front. Oh, oh, he's got item. Oops, I paused the thing again. Okay, okay, item. And take super potion this early. That's nice, Iggy. Thank you. Another Pokemon. I don't feel like we've interacted with a wild pat right yet. <laughs> now, if you remember from the house in Accumula Town, there was two Pokeballs out, so we're gonna go over and get those. Whew. Good job. I'll do trainer right here. Yeah, just fucking just challenge him. Piplup, Piplup. Oh. Lillipup, Lillipup, my little pup go. Sorry, wrong, wrong little one. He said the penguin. <laughs> Roland. What do you got? Oh, Lillipup. How surprising. <laughs> I'm trying to think what the- I guess there really isn't no early bug types. Uh, I'm thinking out loud. I just use water gun. Cause you really don't interact with bugs until... Until after the second gym, I think? Lower my defense, you ass. Alright. Tackle. Perfect. Kai did such a good job. Good job, Kai. He's level 9. Your Pokemon uses those kinds of moves. Oh, uh, it's your best, sorry. <laughs> but yes, my Pokemon do be learning moves. Alright, so I don't remember what's over here. But we're gonna look anyway. Potion, that's nice. Good. Free shit and Pokeball, that's nice. Okay. I'm trying to think, because I think Charon challenges us here, so might as well just. Shit, I'm still on. Oops. <laughs> Let me go to Pokemon and I'll put in Lillipup. And switch. Oh, it's not Sharon, it's Bianca. Phoenix, come on, Phoenix! She challenges us. I do like Bianca's music, it's really nice. Hey, listen, listen, Pokemon battle. Please, the Pokemon I caught have become a little stronger. Ready or not, here I come. Now this is what really screwed me over in my Nuzlocke. Because I did black too. And I, I, I like, whited out and I was like, oh, I can just go up here to a route and train and stuff. And I did and I got into a trainer battle with our rival and I died. <laughs> Uh, let's just use Leer. Alright, we're both negative defense. Should I? Oh, fuck it, let's use Bite.
Damn. Damn. Okay, so one more should do it, and then when she sends out the tactic, I'll switch in Kai. Because my, my little Iggy right here has negative two defense. Good job, Iggy. You're level nine now. I'm catching up. I believe he evolves at 16 along with, with Kai, so... Little Tepic, little, little Piggy! Alright, Pokemon. Now this would be a sweep, because... I'm two levels higher than this thing, and I have Water Gun. And luckily for me, Water Gun's a- oh! I thought that- I thought that did minus attack. I don't know why. <laughs> anyway... Didn't kill, but that should be like nothing. Yeah, not very effective. Oh, yes you are, girl! He's a potion! What a cheater! Critical hit it, just out of spite. No, okay. That's okay, Kai. You did it. Good job. Oh, I couldn't win. It's okay, Bianca. I'm just better than you. <laughs> whoa, whoa. You're a tough cookie, Phoenix. I'm gonna work hard to train my Pokemon so we don't lose anymore. Okay, bye-bye. Let's get to the new area and heal and then we'll, yeah, we'll probably end it there. Alright, new city! Okay, just heal and then probably end it off side the Pokemon Center so you guys can hear the music for it. That's pretty good beginning music for the, like the first main area. So we got through. We finished going through Route One. We got introduced to the villain team and a mysterious trainer, and we got through Route Two and made it to the new city, all in one piece with our little guys. Let me just check, make sure Iggy doesn't have another item. Okay, he doesn't. So we got little Iggy and Kai right now. So in the next one. We'll be exploring this city, trying to see where Charon ended up, and maybe we'll see what's to the, the right of us as well. And maybe we can challenge the gym. But my name is Phoenix, and thank you for joining me, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!